Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be checking out Parrot OS 6.0 for the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Now, originally when I looked into this operating system, it did say that Parrot OS 6.0 is now supported with Raspberry Pi 5, which is not the case. If you try to boot it with Raspberry Pi 5, all you will get is a blinking cursor and it will never load. Upon researching what's going on with this, I did find out that it basically is a Raspberry Pi 4 image with only the boot file systems copied over, but it's still missing practically all the drivers. So when I looked into it with DMessage and everything, the Bluetooth drivers are missing, some other drivers are missing. So what I ended up doing was trying to copy over some of the files that are missing to let it load. While I did clear all the messages for drivers not loading on the next boot, uh, we were still presented with that blinking cursor. Looking into it a little bit more, I didn't realize that it had to do something with the light DM not starting. I'm not gonna really look into it because light DM doesn't really express too much logs and to try to diagnose like the end issues um, you might as well just try to rebuild this from scratch so until they actually rebuild this image with the proper raspberry pi 5 and the proper image i don't think it's ever going to work for raspberry pi 5 until they fix it but parrot os does work on raspberry pi 4 and that's what we're going to be checking it out on now i do use parrot os for a lot of other things um, mainly security purposes why so i do like this operating system over kali linux the biggest difference between this and Kali Linux is that this actually creates more of a desktop for the user and you would have to root into the tools. While Kali Linux is always on route where it could get a little dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, to jump into it, this is the new wallpaper which I really like compared to the old one. It's got more definition to the parrot itself. And it's got a lot more like this grid design. I actually really like this wallpaper. Going into this application, this is the first time I'm actually checking this out. So I don't even know what to expect yet. I didn't even do like a dry run to see if there's anything different. But what I'm going to check out is uh, HTOP. Whoop, wrong one. System tools, actually Mate system monitoring tools. They do use Mate. It is using like DM and it is using Mate desktop. So it is very lightweight. Processes wise, um, I'm using about 740 something megabytes of RAM. Let me close that. Yeah, 430 megs of RAM, which is really good. It's actually really lightweight. And I do like the theme that they're using. It's pretty stock. Um, reminds me of more of Dracula theme a little bit, but it is Mac OS style. Now in this version, they say they have about 600 pen testing tools itself. So that's a lot of tools that you could use, especially for something um, security oriented. They got a lot of stuff loaded into here. I'm just looking through some of the stuff that they have. Let's see if we go to... Uh, Web analysis, do they have? Oh yeah, they do. They have burp in here as well, I bet. Yep, burp. Let's see, wireless sniffing, air crack NG, Armageddon, nice. Reaver, mm-hmm. Uh, a few other things. Um, let's see, gen key, R oh, it's pretty cool. I mean, they have a lot of the tools that you would see from the last version. I don't think much has changed. Oh, automotive, can utils. I don't remember seeing this before, but if they do have can utilities for cars, that's very impressive. Now jumping into the browsers, we do see that there's Chromium and Firefox. And I think Firefox works a little bit better than Chromium. That's just my opinion on Raspberry Pis. But they do offer both browsers if you need to. So we are going to be testing out Firefox to see if there is some sort of graphic acceleration. Let's see if we could play some YouTube videos. So here we have the main website for Parrot Security. I'm going to head over to Downloads. It is running a little bit sluggish. Maybe because it's on the Raspberry Pi 4, but it shouldn't feel this sluggish. Now you can install this in many editions, like you could go into WSL, you could do cloud, you could run it into a VM, and over here you have the Raspberry Pi. Now going into the Raspberry Pi section, it does say that uh, you can run the home edition or actually any edition on the Raspberry Pi 5 right here. But again, I've tried the core edition and the home edition, and I can't get the desktop to work. I was able to drop into the prompt and get the tools to work, but to get the desktop to work, the graphics wasn't working at all. So you do have to keep in mind on that. Jumping into say something like YouTube, I really wish that this did work on Raspberry Pi 5 because mainly I wanted to check out if um, we could drop the Wi-Fi card into monitoring mode and a few other things. But being this on Raspberry Pi 4, we already know that do that does work from previous installations. Um, I'm not going to be able to test it on Raspberry Pi 5. Okay, from here on, I'm just going to go over to 
Nova Spirit Tech. Let's load one of my videos. Again, feels a little sluggish on the Raspberry Pi 4. Maybe I'm just used to the Raspberry Pi 5 speed because it is like a lot faster than the 4. But let me uh, double check on my latest video, which is running Windows XP. That was a lot of fun. I still have the laptop and I got a few more games on there that I've been playing. Okay, it is um, pretty slow running on the Raspberry Pi 4, even though it's just an ad over here. And that finally came up, the skip, it should have had a counter. I could definitely tell you that this is slow. So I could go over to Stats for Nerds. And I'm not even running on 1080 right now. It's probably got a lot of drop frames and everything. Uh, yeah. Let's see, if I switch this over to quality. And switch it over to 1080. I don't even have to full screen this. I know this already doesn't run that well. It does look a lot better, but again, you could see the skip frame, so it's not that great. And I'm I'm pinning the CPUs right over here. You could see on top. Memory wise, it's not using that much. But yeah, if you guys want to check out that video, that's a pretty fun video that I did. Um, otherwise, Firefox works not great, but it works. It was uh, pinning the CPU to the top, like I was saying before. Uh, so it is, it doesn't have graphic acceleration, it's using the CPU to emulate all that. Um, as far as the tools go, I'm not going to go through each and every one of the tools, so I'll just go through the other stuff. The only thing they do have for games is export. I wish they had like Solitaire on mine, uh, Minesweeper, but they have um, chess, sound and video, they have VLC media player, graphics, they have color sector, button, document viewer, image viewer, internet, they do have VNC, so if you are running anything with VNC, you could do that. Education, smart scene. Uh, they don't have any like uh, word processor in here or Excel or anything. So that's kind of uh, something you might need to install in the future. And then they have all these tools. Programming wise, they have Tani, Genie, and DB Browser. This is great actually. DB Browser for SQLite is really good. Um, system tools, they have uh, Bleachbit and a few other things. And let's see, terminal. Let's check out. Oh, that didn't work. I was using all control delete. Let's check out uh, Neo Fetch. Do we have that? We do. Okay. And we are running Parrot 6.0, Kernel 6.1. That's locked down because of Raspberry Pi, but the official version is supposed to be Kernel 6.5. We are running on the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, uh, 1080 screen, Mate, and we are using uh, 1.8 gigahertz, so it's not really overclocked, and it's using about 633 megabytes of RAM. So yeah. That's basically the intentions of this. It does run. Unfortunately, there was a lot of things that I wanted to test on the Raspberry Pi 5, but I couldn't uh, due to the fact it doesn't want to run. So I wish they will update this and get it to work on the Raspberry Pi 5. And then until that does work, I will jump back on here and try to test all, uh, some of the tools. My main thing was Wi-Fi. I wanted to see if it could drop it into monitor mode because it is using a slightly different Wi-Fi card. So it might or might not work with that way. Otherwise, there's a lot of other tools that you can use um, in this collection and you're gonna have to go through it now if you ever wanted to learn how to use these tools and you had the time to do it you can always go download um, parent has their own uh, exploitable operating system that you can install on a VM so if you head over to downloads again uh, into this website there is something called hack the box and in here there is this VM that's basically has all these ports that are open and then you have to figure out how to break into it. Same thing with um, Made Exploitable 2, which is another VM that you can install into your home lab. And it's purposely um, vulnerable. So you could learn how to hack into the box. They have many ports open so you know how to learn. And there's a whole online tutorial on how to do certain ports and things. And you have the operating system to play around with it. Same thing with Hack the Box. This is your own little box that you're allowed to hack into so you know what tools you need to break into a specific port. So if you ever want to play around with it, you could try Hack the Box or Made Exploitable too. So I'm glad that they updated the operating system from 5.0 to 6.0. I'm going to go into more of a deep dive when it does work for the Raspberry Pi 5 because I want to see how it works with the hardware and how smooth it is compared to a Raspberry Pi 4. And if you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.